A ball is thrown vertically upwards from a tower and reaches the ground in 6 seconds. Another ball is thrown downwards at the same position and with the same speed reaches the ground in 1.5 seconds. Time taken by the ball to reach the ground if dropped from the same height is. This question is from mechanics motion in a straight line. In this question, three balls. First ball is thrown vertically upward direction and it reaches the ground within six seconds time. And the second ball is thrown from the same height but in downward direction with the same speed and it reaches the ground within the time 1.5 seconds. Time taken by the ball, this is the third ball. Time taken by the third ball to reach the ground but this ball is dropped. Dropping means initial velocity is 0 from the same height. So in this question we have to find out the time taken by the third ball. So question is very simple. From same height, first ball is thrown in upward direction with a certain velocity. This ball is moving in downward direction within the time 6 seconds. And second ball is thrown in downward direction. And it, this ball reaches to the ground within 1.5 seconds. But the third ball is simply dropped. Initial velocity is equals to 0. Same height only. Here we have to find out the time. Take equation of motion. S is equals to ut plus half at square. But here sign convention is very very important. Take sign convention. In upward direction take positive and in downward direction negative. For the first ball, so velocity is positive but this ball is moving in downward direction. So in place of S, yes, height is negative, velocity u and time is 6 seconds. So g is always acting in downward direction. So in downward direction negative. So minus half g t square. In place of t take 6. So minus h is equals to 6u minus 36 by 2, 18g. So multiply g also, minus h is equals to 6u minus 180, equation 1. And for the second ball, so u is negative, h also negative, g also negative. So take equation minus h is equals to Time is 1.5 seconds, so minus 1.5 u minus half into in place of g 10 and 1.5 into 1.5. Minus h is equals to minus 1.5 u and uh, multiply these uh, three values. Here we want height. For the third ball we have to find out time. Here initial velocity is 0. H is equals to ut becomes to 0 half gt square and from this t is equals to square root of 2 h by g. So to find out the time we want height. So for the simplification purpose multiply this equation with 4 then u get cancelled in both equations. Minus 4h minus 6u 11.25 into 4, then it becomes minus 45. Take this is equation 2. So now add equation 1 and equation 2. From these two equations, minus h is equals to 6u minus 180. Minus 4h is equals to minus 6u minus 45. So here u get cancelled. Minus 5h is equals to minus 1 225 on both sides minus get cancelled and from this h is equals to 225 by 5 
so height is 45 meter now in third case we want a time then t is equals to square root of 2 into 45 by 10 so 9 t by 10 then it becomes root 9 root 9 is equals to 3 seconds so the time taken by the third ball is equals to 3 seconds now check the given options first option is correct 